tin foil wrapped around the end of the hoses that we've disconnected. We're not sure which ones we're going to be replacing. Some of them aren't going to be replaced, but at any rate, we don't want things crawling up the hose, and there are a lot of things around here, little bugs that like to go. Right now you're trying to remove that ho those hoses from the fans. This is the radiator that's on the side, the driver's side of the RV. And in behind here are those big fans. It's tight. Bending the, this part up here is moving. pull it off and then I'll be able to put it on a bench. Put it in a vice or something and see if I can get it apart. Let's spin this off. Hmm. I'll get it apart. It's like a challenge. Mm -hmm. We have some serious bird warfare going on over here in this tree behind us. Go ahead. Cooler for the cooling system, the cooling fans, the hydraulic system. And then the cooler for the transmission is inside the radiator. It comes in on this side. Then this is the cooler for the compressed air after the turbo. This is the filter that the guy who owned this RV before us, who we bought it from, said was exploding off of here and then hydraulic fluid would spray all in the inside of the engine compartment. So since we've owned it, that has not happened. However, we have not taken this thing on any lengthy trips either. So we don't know. Today we took off the, uh, the cooler for the hydraulic system that runs the fans. And we took the filter off that was exploding. Um, I just want to make sure it's going in the right direction. There's no blockages. Tomorrow I'm going to pull the uh, filter apart and just see what it looks like on the inside. Make sure it's not got any blockages. It seems weird that the uh, routing of this goes from the fan circuit to the filter, to the cooler, to the reservoir. So that means if the something's going on with the cooler, that could be backing up into the into the filter. But we got to find out the the way it was originally designed too. But and then Monday I'm going to call the uh, people that uh, sell those hydraulic motors on the fans. They sell a kit. I'm just going to pick their brain a little bit about how it works and. What, what's in the kit and stuff like that. I'm just drawing a little a little picture of the uh, power steering unit in there so I know when I take these lines apart which one's which. I don't know for sure which one's which. Hmm. So explain what we're going to do. I'm going to pull one off. Okay, wait pick, a minute. One off. What? I'm going to pull really good. one line off, the outside line. Power steering. Yeah, off the pump in the front. And then I'm going to uh, take the air hose and try and get most of the fluid out of it by blowing it out with the air. And your Sandra's going to come in the back and take a bucket and put it underneath it and catch it. Then I'll know which one is which, where it went, and uh, they won't be as full of oil when we're trying to drag them out of here. They go right through the middle of the thing. It's going to be a total pain in the butt to get out of there. But you don't know that for sure. You know what? And, uh, <laughs> Like I said, if they're full of oil, it's just going to drain oil the whole way. So the more I can get out with the thing, the better. Okay. Here's our trusty, faithful DeWalt air compressor that we have had for... How long have we had this? It was like 2003 when we bought this? Is it mm -hmm. 2003? Mm -hmm. We were about to get this party started. What's, what's the plan? What's the program? I already checked for snakes and ants. Oh, I got some on me. Oh, oh my gosh. You got it all over me. See how no, this is? See what's going on here? 
working on semis, boy. Ugh, it's an ugly job. Mm -hmm. Those guys don't get paid enough. We still gotta figure out which one's which. I think this is the return line. Okay. But once we know, then I'll label my map. Because um, it could be a little while before I put this back together. Not yet, but it sounds like it is going to. That's it. So by blowing air through the line and seeing where it comes out, we determined for sure that that is the return line. Right here. So the feed line pressure line pressure is back here down there it's kind of hanging down right there so you, when you're you're gonna put the bucket underneath that one next yes sir yeah bucket oh <sighs> next dave is going to blow air <laughs> over all the holes and hose ends and stuff so we don't end up with any creepy crawlies inside places we don't want them to be. I'm trying to unfasten some sort of clamp. Get the hoses clamped to the frame. Nope. It's everything so <coughs> dirty. Get me, honey. Mm -hmm. The lines are like melted together somehow. Melted together? Yeah, like, you know, from just being together so long, they're like glued together. Or something. Huh. That's amazing. Dave's just having a heck of a time trying to get the, the lines sorted out because they're all like glued together almost um is there other lines up there with yeah, them as well lines, i don't even know what they are and he's, he can't even figure out like trying to keep which one which we got the wheel covers back on the wheels hopefully to protect them somewhat from the hot texas sun because the motorhome's probably going to be parked again for at least a little while Dave's got to go contort himself now, crawling underneath here to a different location. Fun, fun. There he goes. I think it's time to cut them. Cut the hoses? Mm -hmm. That's the pressure one. Are you going to cut them in the middle? I'm going to cut them as far as I can reach here. Oh, inside there. Yeah, and okay. then here's that string you're asking about, by the way. The string that we drug mm -hmm. through when we replaced the fuel line. Mm -hmm. And then from here, I'll drag them from the other side, you know, from the back. Right. For those of you who are reach. new, uh, just joining us, we have already been in this situation where we were crawling all around under here and replacing hoses that are like very inaccessible or not easily accessible. We replaced the fuel line which runs from the front of the motorhome to the back and that also is running all underneath here. And You're gonna have to go get me the hose cutter. So you can see a video about that in the RV playlist. Um, go in the garage. Uh -huh. All right, Dave's cutting hoses. Okay, one I'm going to cut straight and one I'm going to cut at an angle. That way I'll be able to tell which one is which when I put them back together to measure them. This stuff is really good. What's happening? You said it's going to be really difficult to... Yeah, it's got metal. It's metal on the inside, you know. Yeah. Dave has asked me to acquire the grinder for him and a cutting wheel. This one, this one should be good. Got it? Mm -hmm. 
part of the steering lines. There's no turning back now. We cut them suckers. We so. took the lines back as far as we could. There's like a front bulkhead. We took them up to the bulkhead and then I cut them off so they'll be easier to pull through the tunnel passageway through the middle. And now, now I'm going to go in the back and uh, find them and pull them from the back out. The hydraulic pressure line is kind of hard to cut. We had to cut it with a grinder. It, uh, it's got metal braiding in it, but we're not going to do this halfway. I mean, we're not going to just replace one line and not the other. If we're going to go through and rasp all this stuff through, we're going to replace everything. I feel as though we're being watched. I think so. Who is that in there watching me? You want to come out? Come on. Cutting lots of zip ties. We're gonna have to acquisition some nice ones large, too. nice zip ties to re re zip tie everything. Ooh, look at I you! Just wash my hands. Too. I know. Don't touch anything in here. Okay, now we're going to the outside. Okay. Oh, here comes Tough. There's Tough. Hi, Tough. Come here. Too bad you can't be more help. Come here. Oh, hi. Hi, little dog. <laughs> Tough says, Dave, what are you doing underneath here all the time? Okay. One of the remainder of the hose here. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. Ew. There it is. Look at my hand. I'm touching it. And the other one, which has been spliced there. There's a cut. I don't think it's into the meat, but... Do they look in bad shape to you? Yeah, well, they need to replace. I'm sure this is the one that was leaking. It's still got the fluid on it. There's nothing else in there. I carry hydraulic fluid. If the, uh... If the, uh, jacks were leaking, it would go down. You know, th it doesn't mm -hmm. take much fluid for a jack to go down, so it has to. Happen. Okay, there's the other, the ends, the front end where you cut it off so you wouldn't have to drag the fittings through.